Okay, second video. Pala Beach in the National Park area. Now I'm walking to the far west end. When you face the ocean here at this part of the beach, because you know the shoreline is so curvy, you're actually looking to the south. So you don't have the sunset over the ocean. You know, it's gonna be to the western horizon by the by the hills. It's still a beautiful ocean sunset. It just doesn't fall into the sea. But the, I think the best part about this is just the size, the sheer size of the area. And it's just, I mean, very rare to see this much open sand area, you know, uh, around a, a beach. Normally you just have a limited amount of room. This place has just got so much room and it's gonna be shaded all day with all these evergreens. So even in the heat of the day, but because the tide is high right now at this time of the evening, I'm going to the west end of the park um, where there's more exposed beach even during high tide so I walk down here and uh, it's just I can't believe how far like the restaurant we're eating at is you know is in the middle and it's still a it's a good it's a long long area I mean it's just I've never seen a beach like this before it's like a beach park really basically instead of just being a, a standard you know drive down beach road park get out be on the beach kind of thing here you've got you know a huge evergreen forest area above the beach area and then down below the seawall you have the beach itself so all right a sign here says no entry so this would be the end of the uh, national park and so now you're going to get into privately owned land which is like resorts I'm sure there's some uh, places you can stay right on the beach down here but it's kind of nice to have the National Park where you know there's no no private ownership it's just all owned by the, the, the government of Thailand so it's protected from development yeah, that's I guess that's what I just really like the most about it so you can see here that's looks like where those umbrellas are at one time was a resort it doesn't look like there's anything there now but anyway this is the beach area that you have at the very end but like I say the tide is so high right now that at the park end there's no beach really you can see the kids get right off the steps and they're in the water there's a beach it's just underwater <laughs> But when we was here before, uh, it must have been extremely low tide when we was here before because there was a lot of beach area. But anyway, that's a little tour. Again, the sunset's going to be, you know, over the hill there, but you still get a lot of sunset color on the, on the water. So it's still a beautiful place to come in the evening. I guess just what makes it so unique is this huge evergreen forest area and there's really no vendors down here on this end the other end of the park has all kinds of vendors but basically means you know even though it's a national park you may have 10 different restaurants here that you can choose to sit at down here and of course if you're eating at the restaurant there's no charge for the you know beach chair and you know, the area you're in so even though it's it's a government park you have private uh, ownership of the restaurants and they have their shops across the road you know where they keep all their food but they just bring everything to you down here at the beach so it's not like you have to move out of your beach chair to order anything you could possibly want of course tremendous amounts of seafood because uh, you know these are all beach style restaurants so you have a lot more seafood options than you would in town but I mean just look at this walkway through the middle so it's so quiet I mean you got 
you know, I say quiet, and then somebody fires up a noisy motorcycle, but, I mean, you, you don't have a busy beach road right where you're trying to hang out at the beach. You're just at a dead end into a park. I mean, it's just absolutely relaxing. Serenity, serenity now. I, don't, I just don't know how you get much better than this, folks. I really don't. I mean, if you enjoy just coming and listening to the waves, don't have any other noise pollution, many options of food, or bring your own food, whatever you want to do, but I mean, it's just so much easier to let them cook it all for you. It's, it's not like it's expensive. Yen and I will probably eat, you know, four big dishes between the two of us, and it'll be $12 or something. It's not like, you know, you're paying five-star prices down here, but the food is excellent. It's all, you know, home-cooked Thai food. You're not you're not eating at some dumpy place just because you're down here at the beach in the park. I mean, these, these places are delicious food. So anyway, that's my tour and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I, I mean, look how far I've, I haven't even gotten to the vendors yet. This place is huge, huge. Here's the first set of uh, beach chairs. And, so this would be your first area that you could order food and you see you have numbers on the little shops across the way here where they keep all their food so all those little green signs so whichever restaurant you enjoyed it is park in front of that number the next time you come and you know you're going to have the same people serving you so pretty cool we're at number 13 goes all the way down to 23 we're at lucky number 13 for our meal, which we've already eaten here before and know the people, so it's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, that's that's my vlog this evening. I'll try to give you some sunset pictures to go along with this vlog. And I hope you enjoy our little uh, videos that we're trying to bring to you from our beach trip to Rayong province and uh, like comment subscribe thank you very much see y'all later paradise <laughs>